Hello everyone, this is RaySpace. We are in my shuttle install in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I test all sorts of things at with the space shuttle from Giulio Dondi. And I've been getting a lot of comments that people's boosters are not going off. Uh, and I thought I made this clear in my other videos with the space shuttle explaining how to put it together and all, but since people keep telling me that they have problems, let me try to make this. This is going to be a really short video, and I'm going to try to make this as clear as possible. Let's see, when I click on this booster here, and make sure you have the right booster. Uh, so it should look like this with the little black patches on the lower segments. See, we have this RSRM with the black patches, but you might accidentally pull this RSRM, which is the stock one, or RSRMV. So make sure you have the right one. It should have 586 tons and these black patches on the lower segment. And then you hold, you see there's a node there. You hold Alt, and there's a node buried inside the booster. You must figure out how to get the node inside the booster on there. Sometimes it works. Oh, it's like this. Okay, so where where is that? Um, it's in. It's not easy. Okay, so the node is in the third segment from the bottom. So this is the first segment. This is the second segment. This is the third segment. So third segment from the bottom or the second from the top, there's a node in there that you must put in here. Otherwise, it's not going to go along with the decoupler. It's going to go along. It's yeah. And you can do it in symmetry. That's fine. All right. So I've just put them on. Let me take it outside and make sure the script runs. Some people have been having trouble with the launch script. Uh, some of it has to do with you make sure your staging is right. Okay, so staging is all the RCS ports, so the orbiter plus the OMS pods, then the launch clamps, then the uh, and the boosters, and then the set motors, and the nose cone and the decouplers, and then the external tank and the OMS engines. So that's the staging order right there. Okay, let me just take this outside. So there may have been changes in the Giulio Dondi shuttle that I don't know about since I put this install together and that, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it again because I've got it working and I'm not going to risk that. So <laughs> you'll have to forgive me for that. Uh, I, I, yeah, what can I say, right? So anyway, run OPS1. So, yeah, I, I don't know what might be going wrong as far as launch stuff is concerned. Make sure you have the right kind of engines. Uh, they have to be the ones that come with the mod. Make sure you don't have a different engine. There, there is a different uh, texture to this. If you don't want this, uh, this test version with the black patches, then I think there's another one. That works as uh, that uh, you can switch it to like another texture, but that's a good way to identify it. There are a lot of things about this program OPS one or OPS three that I don't know about because I did not write this KOS program. That's Julio Dandi. You'll have to ask him about that. Uh, I know how KOS works, but everybody, you know, the the coding is very particular in this case, so I can't troubleshoot that if you have a problem with that. I can just say that it's working. So, and try and guess what might be going on, but that's about it. Beware of other mods that might be interfering with your shuttle mod. Uh, for instance, RO engines definitely do not have that uh, because it will interfere with the space shuttle main engines. And there are other mods like Atmospheric Autopilot that will interfere. But if you're having trouble, try and make sure just to have the requirements for the shuttle installed. And that might help. If you have a whole lot of extraneous stuff, first get the shuttle working, then add that stuff. 
if you're really intending to use the shuttle. Now, the booster set I still haven't got right. Um, that's down to the Cybertrons and all. I'm just gonna have custom Cybertrons. Right now I didn't have custom Cybertrons on those, I just have the separation motors that it comes with, the ones in the nose cone and the ones down by the skirt. And probably if I tweak the ones on the skirt just right, it'll end up right, but it'll end up looking wrong as well. They'd be looking wrong, but acting right. So, yeah. Depends what we want for that. But otherwise, what can I say? Uh, it is a complicated system with the launch scripts, the re-entry script, and all this business. So you're gonna have to do some figuring out, but hopefully, hopefully my videos have helped a little bit. So I'm not gonna wait until this gets to orbit. I think I've said what I've had to say. Just find that node, try and figure out how to place it. It's not easy, but you have to get it on that node for the boosters to work properly. And make sure your staging is right and try and get rid of any mods that might be interfering and that's the best I can do because I don't know all the specifics of how OPS1 work. So that's troubleshooting with the Space Shuttle mod in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. With that I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.